this video, I'm going to share with you the new meta defense that everyone is using in Madden 22 to lock down the best offenses in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Cody, and we upload daily videos that can help you get better at Madden 22. And right now, this is out of the 46 playbook. A lot of people like the 46 playbook because it's got the nickel 335, the nickel 335 wide, the nickel normal. It's also got the big nickel over G. But when I released my 46 ebook, I talked about this back, I think about a month ago, about how good the dollar three two six really is. And now it seems like everybody is wanting to run this. So I wanted to break down kind of the meta blitz or a blitz in concept from this. I'm gonna give you two blitzing concepts today. And then if you wanna learn even more about how to run the dollar three two six, I'm gonna put my four six defensive guide in the description. It breaks down the three three five normal, the three three five wide, as well as the dollar three two six in a bonus video. I think we've also got some big nickel over G breakdowns in that as well. Um, so if you want to get access to that, again, there's a link in the description. If you want to get access to all of my eBooks and all of my exclusive tips, you can join the True Fan membership for just ten bucks a month. You can cancel that whenever you would like. Uh, so again, I'm going to put that link down in the description below. Okay, guys. So DB Fire Two is the play we're going to be taking a look at here. And we're going to show you two setups. So the first setup is kind of the way that most people are going to run this. And they it, literally all they're going to do is they're going to base align and they're going to press. And then they're going to crash their defensive line to the middle. So as you can see right here, we're going to crash our D line. And then we're just going to use her kind of right in here with our guy. And what you're going to see is nine times out of ten, you're going to get somebody clean. Now, I did say nine times out of ten. Every now and then you get some fluky uh, deals. It's actually really good, especially if they uh, block their running back. Now, I will show you something else about this setup here in just a second. I just want to show this one more time. So as you can see, for whatever reason, that left tackle is kind of sliding over. If we want, if we basically just kind of stand a little bit more to the left here with our user, which is honestly probably better for run defense, you should see, there you see the pressure come in off the left edge, okay? Now, uh, pretty much anyone that, you know, is going to do anything about this is they're going to block the running back. That's kind of the number one thing that people are going to do. Um, in the second setup, I'm going to show you a much better version of this blitz for blocked running back. But as you see here, for the most part, you're still going to push the pocket. You're still going to, they're still going to feel the pressure um, if they block their running back. So what a lot of people like to do in that exam, in that situation is they will block, um, they will block their tight end. So I'm going to put my tight end on the delay fade. And what you'll see here is the pressure will completely come completely clean if the tight end is on a delay fade. And so the best way to pick this blitz up is just to block your running back. But if you do block your running back, I will tell you it's not 100%. And then the other thing that I want to show here, this is a max protect. As you can see, the pressure did get picked up, but it did kind of loop around a little bit. Let me show that one more time. So again, all we're doing is we're baseline pressing and then we're crashing our D-line down. And what you'll see right here is I'm going to go ahead and block my running back and my tight end. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that occasionally we'll get the pressure, um, you know, but if they max protect for the most part, they're going to be able to pick this up. Now, I talked about a second way that you could run this, and literally all you have to do is baseline and press and don't do anything else. Literally just don't do anything else whatsoever. Just baseline and press. And what you'll see here is if you do that, the blitz will basically come in again about 80 to 90 percent of the time so again literally just baseline press but you're going to stand instead of standing out here now you're going to want to stand kind of right in here and uh, at the snap of the ball kind of do the same exact thing as you can see we're still able to dumb out the guard and we're still able to get the pressure in so again your user you're going to you know basically one you're going to basically want to stand kind of right here come down at the center and then you know swerve out into coverage and as you can see we're going to be able to get really good pressure now I want to show you an advanced setup and this is my preferred way to run this and all we're going to do is we're going to spread our line we're going to crash our line down and then we're going or we're going to QB contain now when we QB contain what we want to do with this guy is we want to slide him in just enough so that he's on a contain so you see here this is what it looks like and the reason I like this is because this is going to give you a significant amount of, um, higher of a consistency with this and literally all you have to do is just crash your uh, spread your line, uh, crash your line down, QB contain. So it's not a ton more as far as adjustments. And then just bring this guy in uh, off the edge just a little bit, just enough so that when he's on a contain, he's going to come in. So now you're going to see here, as long as you can get that guard to hold, like you said, the consistency level of this blitz is going to go through the roof. Now, the other reason why I like this second setup here is because of what it does to a blocked running back. So if they block their running back, 
uh, what you're going to see here. I'm going to max protect actually. Um, but typically what you're going to see is this thing is still going to loop around against a block running back as you can see. So, or against a max protect for that matter. So if they, if they block seven, um, you're still going to be able to pretty, pretty consistently, you're still going to be able to come in. I'd say if they block seven, uh, like a max pro, you're going to come in probably 80% of the time. Uh, and again, I'll do that again and just show you what this looks like. So again, you can stand kind of here if you, you know, kind of mess around with where you're going to stand. Um, but as you see, you know, you're going to get these crazy sheds. You're going to get these crazy disengages uh, from the dollar defense. Now, you know, you could just QB contain and literally that's all you're going to do. I will say, you know, to me, this one's not as consistent, but it does still come in. Uh, if, they, if they don't max protect anybody, like it's going to come in regardless. So those five man, all you do, just slide this guy in right here. You stand right here and you'll see that, you know, it's, it's going to come in the majority of the time. That time, for whatever reason, the tackle is a little weird. Um, you know, but for the most part, you know, it's going to come in. Let me show it to you one more time. So, again, I'm just going to slide this guy in, and then I'll click off, get over here. And if they send five out, you should see here, as you can see, the pressure comes in. The beauty of this, and, again, this is why I think it's so important to master where you're standing. The beauty of this is again it's all about this guard this year this year the guard is one most important player to dumb out on the line so you'll see here if i can just get that guard to kind of look at me a little bit you'll see these contains just loop around really really well so um you know those are two setups at a db fire i think this is one of the better defenses in the game if you did this right here i will tell you if you did this right here and then you crash your line down so you base line um, so that you get that wide angle on the right and then you do that contain off the left this is a pretty good little blitz here, and I'll show you what this looks like. You see how they kind of loop around. Um, that time didn't come in completely free, but you know we were blocking seven. So you know again, I like I like both of these setups. I think both of these uh, have value, and I think you know the DB Fire Two is quickly becoming the number one way that people like to defend heavy passing sets like Gun Bunch or Trip Side In or whatever. So you know this is how you can run it. Um, you know at a really really high clip, really really high level. And honestly, you could literally just call it. I mean, you don't you, you don't really have to do anything to be honest. You could literally just do this, and you'll see we're gonna scream off that left edge, and that's what makes DB Fire so good. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get access to all of my eBooks, I have some of the best. D I have six defensive eBooks out and two offensive eBooks out right now. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to to the True Fan membership down in the description for just ten dollars a month. You get access to everything. You get access to every defense, every offense, every defensive tip, every offensive tip, every single piece of content that I release at a high level. So if you want to get access to that, it's just 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel it whenever you want. If you just want to get the ebook, I also have an individual ebook link down there below. If you just want the 4-6 defense, it's on sale for 15 bucks. But I would my recommendation would be to get the True Fan membership because it's on sale for just um, 10 bucks a month. And then you can cancel it whenever you're whenever you need to. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for any of that stuff, that is going to be linked down in the description and in the comments.